Well, there's no better feeling in the world than having confidence. And if you're struggling with insecurities around your face, surgery may be the way to go. Dr. Janjua is the founder of the Janjua Facial Surgery Clinic. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for being here today, sir. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Look, Greg, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what made you want to get into facial surgery? <laughs> Absolutely. So very briefly, I am a board certified facial plastic surgeon and I live in New Jersey with my lovely wife of 23 years and three beautiful daughters. I love to meditate and um, run and work on medical devices. In fact, I'm very lucky to have a patent on a medical device to stop severe nosebleeds. That's incredible. And I'm working on bringing it to the market hopefully soon. I went through that. We won't go into deep conversation, but I went through severe nosebleeds for a while. Oh, and you have to have <laughs> <laughs> I'd have interventional radiological oh my, surgery. That's all exactly the, the reason. Oh Tim, my, I have a simpler yeah. solution. Okay, well, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Absolutely. So, um, you know, when I uh, came to U.S., you can probably tell I'm not from around here by the accent. I was born and raised in Pakistan. So when I came to U.S., I trained at Yale University in surgical training for head and neck cancer. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to help people with cancer. But it was emotionally taxing to see some of my patients pass away, you know, despite the best efforts. So it was very difficult. And I decided to change that to maybe some happy surgery that is still challenging but has a happy end. And I would bet there's not much happier than a person getting up in the morning and looking at that mirror and going, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that's, you know, what led me to further train in facial plastic surgery and open Genju official surgery. And you've kind of created something that's really unique in, in the marketplace. It's like a different type of uh, rhinoplasty, nose job, right? That is correct. Uh, yes. So what's the difference between the normal one and the one that you do? Well, in the normal one, you know, they always talk about a typical Caucasian nose where the bridge is straight, the tip is high. That doesn't fit all the different ethnic groups. And um, when I was training, I was trained only in Caucasian noses. And also, all the books I read were on Caucasian noses. Right. When I started my own practice, I started seeing a lot of ethnic patients, including African-American patients. They would come and they would tell me, like, Doc, I, I really don't want, you know, all this Caucasian nose. And I just want the nostrils to be a little softer. And we were never trained to deal with big nostrils in our training, so I had to come up with techniques. As I was doing it, you know, I started putting them on YouTube as videos, and I started using the term ALR plasty to educate patients, and that became a pretty well-known term now. And then patients would come and see, you know, Doc, I had to go to many doctors. They all wanted to do a full nose job. Mm. Until I came across your video, and I said, that's exactly what I need and the rest of the history. So what are some of the reactions that you've seen or gotten from some of the people that you've actually shown their new, their new nose? Well, pretty much everything from like uh, crying with tears of joy to jumping up and down screaming to uh, asking me for a hug or asking to take a selfie with me. My favorite was uh, this one patient who looked at the mirror afterwards and said, Doc, finally now when people talk to me, they're gonna look me in the eyes and not look at my nostrils. Wow. For me, that sealed the deal. That would be a seal of the deal right there. <laughs> it did. So if people want more information, where would they go? They can go to my website, uh, janjuafacialsurgery.com or the second website, alarplasty.com. Okay, and of course, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com, if you want more information. Docs, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you for having me, appreciate Absolutely. it.